Hey everyone, how are you? It's Joe from Queens. Uh, today's uh, video is about shaving, but I'm not going to actually uh, shave today. I was thinking about it, but I have something else I want to show you, how I spent my, uh, my afternoon. Uh, I, I got the idea when I was watching a video on a big shave uh, from Steve Farragher and uh, Paul Humphreys. Uh, they didn't shave on this video, they, they took a ride in their car and uh, they were in uh, the UK. And I think they went to Liverpool or somewhere like that, and they, uh, they went to a store that sold uh, shaving supplies. And then they uh, went out and grabbed a bite and filmed it. And I kind of, I like that because I, I watch a show on the internet called Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee uh, with Jerry Seinfeld. And I took a, a little bit of that, and I took some of the uh, video that Paul and uh, Steve did, and I made my own. And I think you're going to enjoy it. I had a great day today. I went to some place where a lot of you, I think, uh, will, will end up uh, visiting if you're ever in New York. And uh, it was fantastic. I met one of the head honchos at this place, and it was a great guy. I'm going to go back soon. And um, I think you're going to enjoy today's video. There's no shaving in it, but it's all about shaving. So... Uh, we're going to start out in Queens, and then we're going to take a, a little... It's not comedians in cars getting coffee, because we're using buses and subways today, because we're in New York. But we'll be getting coffee or something similar. And uh, we'll do a little shopping. And I think you're going to enjoy today's video. So uh, if you have the time, uh, watch the video. And uh, let me know what you think. And the next one, we'll, we'll do a shave. Joe from so Queens. So take care. And, and I'm in Queens now. But if you uh, look around... You can see that I'm on the move. I'm uh, taking a ride uh, by train, by subway, to the Big Apple, to Manhattan. So as soon as uh, my train comes, I'm at the uh, Parsons Boulevard uh, train station, I'm going to jump on an ERF train. I think it's coming now. And I'm running into Manhattan. So I'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Yeah. How are you? It's Joe. I jumped off the train I'm on Lexington Avenue uh, in Manhattan. And it's a nice little block here, as you can see. It's a nice little, uh, let me turn the, uh, the lens around here. It's a nice little drugstore here I want to show you. Look at this. It's a drugstore. Let me show you a little bit about this drug. On Lexington Avenue, and uh, E62 Street, E62 Second Street, Carrasco, and uh, Icon stuff. Look at this. And straight edge razors, and I think I see some brushes and some other razors. I think I found. Uh, a toy store for me to go into. Look at this. Ah, I, I know where I was going. This is Pastor's Drugstore. And uh, it's in Manhattan. They have a couple of locations here. That, this is one of them on Lexington Avenue. And I'm about to go inside and have myself uh, quite a time. Look at all these beautiful, beautiful items they have here. And I'm about to go in and uh, Roots. Nice shaving items. Look at that. You don't see this much anymore. Shaving items. Not in America, anyway. So, uh, we're going to see you again soon. Oh, we're going to have fun today. Let's see what's behind me. I'm going to give you a closer look. But it's it's unbelievable. It's, uh, it's a candy store. So, I'm going to show you what they have. You're not going to believe what they have here. Terrific. Taylor of old Bond Streets. I think we're in Pastors, which is uh, the candy store for shaving. Trumpers. Taking pictures? Yeah, you're shaving stuff like this, you you can't find anywhere. This is, I think, the only place around to 
No, that's true. I see things here, but I don't see how to, I get. You know, the old-fashioned shaving with a brush and an old-fashioned oh, yeah. razor blade. Right. Everybody now uses a cartridge, right. disposable. There's so much that I just, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I don't want to spend too much money today. You know, I could uh, break the bank. Look at all this. I could break the bank here. I could break the bank. Oh boy, look at all this. Trumpa. Anything you can imagine. Look at all this stuff. Baxter of California. Look at all this. And there's other aisles of, of toothpaste from all over the world that I use. And look at all this. There's Myrosol, Amirosol, Truffitt and Hill. Truffitt and Hill, you don't see anywhere. Look at all these Truffitt and Hill items. Wow. Look at this stuff, huh? Parasso? Bet you there's more here than in Italy. Look at all this Parasso. Holy mackerel. Parasso makes it. It's here. And there's other things I never heard of. This, uh, what is this? Fenel Felgen's uh, English Fern and Opus. Yes. All these things I never even heard of. Look at all this Picasso. A lot of shaving. Wow. Unbelievable. Look at the toothpaste. This is the Marvis that I, I used in some of my previous videos. You know, this I never heard of. Maybe I'll get some uh, toothpaste today also. Look at this toothpaste from all over the world. Look at this. Look at all these toothpastes from all over the world. Look at that. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm having a ball over here at Pass. I mean, everything you can imagine they have here. It's amazing. And I think I see another big shaver. Another big shaver over here at Pestos. I think I see somebody from the Bronx. Somebody named Rich from the Bronx is here also. And we're shopping. Look at that. Good old R.J. Lionheart is here with you guys. R.J. Lionheart from the Bronx, who's on the big shave. He's here. And we're going to buy the place out. There's not going to be anything left for anybody else. So don't bother coming. That's it. The place will be empty after we get Joe's going to not have any money to pay his rent. So that's right, my rent, forget it. He'll be living on the street, I'll be on the clean street, shaven. But I'll, I'll have a nice shave, that's the important thing. <laughs> so we're going to shop, then maybe we'll grab a bite, just like, uh, who are those guys, Paul? Paul H. and uh, Steve Farragut. And for, in England, across the pond, as they say, they were across, across the, the pond. pond. They got together, they shopped, and then they grabbed a bite, and showed, that's what we're going to do. We'll have a little nosh. We're going to have a nosh, we're going to show everybody what we end up buying, and uh, we're going to have a nice nosh afterwards, so we're going to see you in a little bit. Uh, at, a, at, a, at a coffee shop or wherever we end up. On Madison Avenue. We'll see you later. See you later. All right, sunny. Yes. And we're at the bus stop here on Madison Avenue. That's the uh, route that Ralph Cramden drove. But I, I don't think Ralph's going to be driving the bus today when it comes. I'm going to turn on Madison Avenue. I don't think Ralph will be driving the bus anymore. Ralph is finished. But uh, we're going to head uh, uptown. There's Rich behind me waiting for the bus. We're going to take it uptown. I think we're going to go to a nice luncheonette and see if it's open, if we can find it on Lexington. So uh, hopefully we'll see you soon when we make it uptown a little bit more and get up to uh, Lexington and 83rd. Of, uh, 83rd and Lexington. And look at this window. Look at these soda bottles. This is a luncheonette. And they have Bassett's ice cream. This is a Lexington luncheonette. And we're going to go into an old-fashioned luncheonette, uh, Rich and I now, and uh, look at things we bought, and uh, have a bite to eat, and uh, fantastic. So, uh, look at that gold Coke bottle. And there's uh, all kinds of things to look at here. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. What a day. Nice day. All right. We'll see you soon. Uh, we're going to go inside and uh, look the luncheonette. Further. And we're looking over some of the things we bought, Rich and I. Petrol on and uh, what is this? This is um, Wilkinson sword. Right, I'll have you know, neither one of us wants any of the bargain stuff. Thank you. 
I got some toothpaste, Marvis toothpaste. Palm olive. Is that shave cream or toothpaste? Shave cream, I hope. Uh, okay. The vocal zone for yes, my yes. son, like Tom Jones yes. uses. Yes. Oh, the bacon lettuce, tomato. What kind of toast? Regular white like? toast with tomato? mayonnaise. Yeah. And a cherry lime cookie. A large one? Yeah. See, I'm in a place here where they know what a cherry lime ricky is. And they know what egg creams are also. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Oh, I know. Good, thank you. Um, I would like, I guess, I would like to have a mm -hmm. good old fashioned cheeseburger. Small or large? Oh, go for the large. Old spice. Yes, yes. Fresh fries. Yes. And I would like a chocolate egg cream. Large? Oh, he's having an egg cream, Thank just you. like I made with Walter the Seltzer the, Man. Uh, the no, we have homemade chocolate. Homemade? Oh, really? That's a step yeah. above foxes. Yes. You. Yes. Thank you. I make yes. it with foxes. They have homemade yeah. chocolate syrup. I can't believe it. Yes. Look at this toothpaste. I don't know where it's from. It's from another land somewhere. Okay. Okay. And, fount and fountain seltzer. And fountain seltzer they have here. Ako. This is like uh, Paul and uh, Steve. And Steve, right? Derby. Are you going to make me do show and tell? And, 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 he, and, he, and Rich has some things too. I got another uh, Allen block. Yes. Large cherry lime. Ricky, large, large cherry lime. And I got this stuff here. This something hand. Vergul. Der Vergul hand. Extra frisk. Extra fresh. Thank you, my dear. We're a little well. strange. You'll have to forgive us. <laughs> we like shaving. Marvis toothpaste. Erasmic stick. Look at this. I, I, I blew. Uh, forget about it. Forget about what I blew. I got some uh, mince pastilles. I saw a lady was buying these for throat and voice with glycerin and fruit juice. You hear the machines in the background? Oh, I should have bought this. Some parasso. I'm going to steal this coming. Some <laughs> almond shaving cream. If you get this home, if you get home and this is not in your bag, it's you'll know, you know I've got it. So I got two of them. I got one, one of this and one of this. Same one? One is extra fresh, extra oh. fish, and one is regular. And I got some blades. And what a rich thing to show and show. So I got, I got, a, like I got a frog and a caterpillar. Let's see, no particular water. With Joe's recommendation, got the uh, lavender, the um, aqua lavender uh, by Pew. Can't find it, but I found uh, a close relative. Uh, who is this here? It's made by uh, Acrito Lavender, or the Cologne. You got that? Can't yeah, smell it. It's good. Very good. I and, smelled uh, it in the store. It smells just like uh, the one I use. Uh, picked up some old standby, some Pro Rezzo, pre shave. It wasn't too exotic. Uh, some Pro Rezzo in a tube, in case I gotta go somewhere and carry my shave cream. Some other Italian shave cream, Cella. I guess that looks good. I've seen, that. I've seen people using that online. That looks good. And uh, that's it. I still managed to pay 60 bucks. I went way over that. This. Oh, that was that, all, that one less. item was over 60? No, this was 20, 28 bucks, so that cost me that. That was the bulk of what I spent. Ooh, a cherry lime Ooh. Ricky. Look at this. This is an old fashioned uh, drink. And look, Thank there's you. the egg cream. There's the egg cream. And a cherry lachayim. Lachayim. As Walter and I said life. last time, to life. And I know that because who's who's doing chai? My my cousin. He's doing chai up in Attica. Uh, so I know that chai means life. <laughs> bump bump. It's always a good joke, no matter how old it gets. So that's it. So uh, we'll see in a little bit. We're gonna get our food soon. We're we'll, gonna have our mash. And we'll have a little mash, and then I'm going back to Queens, and Rich is going back to the Bronx. And this is uh, our version uh, on the uh, across the pond of doing a video of us uh, shopping for shaving. So uh, we'll...
Maybe we'll take, we'll show you the food when we get it. And otherwise, we'll see you later. Enjoy. What Thank you. There's Rich's uh, cheeseburger and French fries. Huh? And here's my BLT. As long as the rabbi doesn't find out, I'll be all right. If he finds out, uh, I can't go back to Queens. It's not kosher. It's not. It's not kosher. But what a look at this lovely uh, soda fountain. This is like going back in time. Uh, they have seltzer here. In the machine. And there's the malted maker. I love this place. I watched the video on this place on, on YouTube, and I had to come here. I made the trip just to come here. Where do you live? I live in Queens. Oh, okay. Sure. We had that place out there. It used to be in the ice cream place. Eddie's Sweet Shop. It's still there. Metropolitan Avenue. That's a good place. Still there. Yeah. But they don't have food. They just have ice cream. Ice cream, yeah. So, yeah that's here they have uh, food. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, they have good food. And famous people Sam come here. That's why. Yeah. Uh, they tell me before they became famous a lot of them. Actually. <laughs> Paul McCartney used to eat here. Paul McCartney, a lot of famous people were here. You could see uh, Carol Wolf, I don't know who she is. Or I don't know. She looks familiar. Reba McIntyre, I'm sitting over here by Reba McIntyre's picture. Here's the Brooklyn Dodgers. These famous people. Well, it's time to eat. See you back. Look, there's, there's a famous guy there. Look at the, huh? I think maybe one day I might open up my own uh, luncheonette and serve egg creams and cherry lime rickies and Sunday syrups and ice creams. Wow, what a place, huh? Joe's place. This will be called Joe's Place one day. Joe from Queens. Joe from Queens. Joe is uh, Woody Allen. Serving Sitting up here store. at the Lexington uh, Luncheonette. And they, they, they get ads here. What a famous, famous, famous place. What a place, huh? There's uh, Tony Savalas and uh, Roberto Redford. And we have ice cream. What a place! Such a place. Such a deal. What a place. Poets often use many.